Hey everyone, this is Marbozir and this is part 9 of Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. So I'm going to continue where I left off. There are currently no factions in my kingdom, which is good. But I won't be starting any huge wars just yet, because I still have a big short reign penalty, unfortunately. I could, however, take this county down here. I need to take this one for the Slavic Holy side. But I can't do it while it's not a neighboring county. So I would have to take this one first, then wait 5 years for the truce to expire. And then declare war again. Which is certainly doable, I'm just a little bit worried Hungary might declare war on them as well. But there isn't really any way to speed that up. I can only declare war for this county as you can see. So I'm going to do that anyway. The faster I can do this, the faster I can take the other county. I could always break the truce, but that's generally a bad idea. Unless I'm really desperate, which I'm not. Well, hey, I could go to war with Hungary, technically. They are probably a little bit too big for me right now. <laughs> but it's always a possibility. Right, this should be a fast war. They don't have a lot of troops. Actually, they have a pretty decent army. Right. Not decent enough, however. They are running away. Where do you think you're going? There we go, I caught them. One children needs a guardian. Alright. Who's that? My granddaughter. I'll just do it myself then. So, so much for that army. Let's finish them off then. There we go. 200 troops left in that army. That won't be enough to siege any of my counties. Now I can start sieging his counties myself. I already have 37% war score, so this will be a short war. Alright, my construction is done. So now... I could improve my city, actually, and get a city guild hall for extra tax income. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Come on, hurry up with this siege. Are we done yet? That's my daughter. I can get kind with 70% or just with 30%. I don't want arbitrary. She got just. 68%. It's almost done. He actually has four counties total. Does this give me a border with Hungary? With this county? I'm not sure about that. No, it doesn't. I thought it might for a second. Will he surrender yet? Probably not. Only 65% war score. Yeah, he will actually. So that was a short war. There we go, I win. Now I need to create a new vassal. There we go. Alright, this also gives me 6 out of 6 the main size. Question is, what next? I don't want to go to war with Lithuania just yet. I'll do that once I'm safe from my vassals. What are they doing? They are fighting each other from the looks of it. And I can't really prevent that. I can't change my crown laws to medium. I could go to war with these guys, I think. Let's check. What? I can't declare war? Oh, that's because he's not independent. I could claim Orsha for my Chancellor, but I think he would become independent then. So that's not necessarily good for me. I don't want to use Subjugation Casus Belli. I can only do that once in 10 years. Hmm. 
Then again, I don't plan starting war with Lithuania anytime soon, to be honest. They are already fighting someone from the looks of it. Oh, did Grodno just go independent? Looks like it. Yeah, they are at war. Oh, he's revolting against his liege. Okay, that makes sense. So, I don't know about this. I suppose I could use Subjugation Castle's Belly to take these three counties. They are actually pretty good. So, maybe I should do it. I'm not convinced that I want to lose my Subjugation Castle's Belly for 10 years. Any other good targets? I could go after these guys. Can I take one county from them? Oh, I can't declare war on them at all. This guy. Yeah, I could take one county from them. So, I could actually press the Jour claims. Hmm. Well, if I'm going to do that, I might as well use Conquest one, because then I get plus 1% moral authority. But I think I'm going to take this. This will be fast and easy. So, okay, let's do it. I probably won't even need my levies. My retinue can take care of that. I got ill. Oh, that's not good. I hope I won't die. That would be unfortunate. How old am I, actually? 46. Oh great, now I got a faction. Prince Carl started a faction. Unfortunately. But he only has 16 men. Not very impressive. Right, my retinue can take care of this war. Plus 100% military technology spread rate, nice. What's that, siege? Are they sieging my county? Oh yeah, they are. Okay. Can I finish this? I'll just raise my levies. That will make it faster. Like so. Not you. Come on, move it, move it. 56%. They are fighting my vassals. Okay, this will be enough. There we go. Who's that? Oh, that's this guy over here. Well, that was a quick war. Is going to end in just a moment. Hurry up with that siege. I think he's surrendering already. Yes. So there we go. That's another county for me. But now I need to give it to someone. Because I'm at 7 out of 6. Do I have any good candidates for that? I could give that to my son. At least one of my sons. Like this guy, for example. I don't necessarily want to give landed titles to my primary heir. I'm going to keep him unlanded. So I'll give it to my other son. Like this one. Sure, let's do that. That was this county down here. Okay, so what now? I still need to wait three more years before I can declare war on this guy down here. Can I declare war on him? Without using the subjugation castle's belly? Oh, 
I can't. I could claim it for my Chancellor, but if I do that, I think he will become independent. Hmm. I could just wait a little bit. I could wait until this truce expires. I want to declare war as soon as the truce expires, but that's still four more years. That seems like a bit too long to wait with no other action. Am I still building something here? No? So, I could build something new then. I have 267 gold. I could improve my capital a bit. Militia training grounds, castle fortifications... I think I'll get militia training ground. Seems like a good idea. Let her rot. Oh yeah, maybe I can ransom some of these people. What's that plot? Okay, let's try to ransom some of my prisoners. That might work. No? They can rot in prison otherwise. Nope, no one wants to pay for them. Sucks to be you. No one cares about you. Wow, she has been in my dungeon for 40 years. How old is she? 80 years old. <laughs> this game is brutal, seriously. 40 years in the dungeon. Sucks to be her. What's that? That's another plot. That's my vassal. Where is he? Loki. Okay. I could try to jail him. 44% chance. But I'm not at war with anyone right now, so if he rebels against me, that will be the shortest rebellion ever. Unless someone else joins him. Let's try it. Yeah, he raised flag in rebellion. Whatever, dude. That's not going to last very long. That will be the shortest rebellion ever. Some kid needs a guardian again. That's my half-sister. Right. I don't really need to educate her myself. I could raise my opinions with this guy. By plus 20? Sure. Hurry up with that siege. Oh, what? My Chancellor died, okay. Oh, this is actually bad, because I know who this guy is. Charitable. Plus three diplomacy, that's good. I will lose five prestige, but that's not a lot. Anyway, yeah, this guy was in charge of this general area. So that's his son or whoever. This guy inherited his titles. That means he could end up studying independence faction. Oh, he died of great pox. Okay. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about this guy. I could just wait for him to rebel against me. But he's definitely dangerous and he has negative opinion of me at the moment. I'll try to raise his opinion, but I'm not sure if that's going to work or not. I'll send my Chancellor here. I could grant him honorary title or something like that. I suppose that works. I'll make him the cup bearer. That's plus 15. It's still possible that he's going to rebel against me. What? Interesting. Oh, that's someone looting my county. Okay, time to raise my levies then. At least the personal ones. I could raise them in my capital too. Yeah, as I said, he started the independence faction, so I totally expect a rebellion at some point. Deceitful. Yeah, I need to move, I think, before I finish this siege. That didn't work too well. 
Great Eminence. Not too bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Plus 9 Diplomacy. Oh, I could marry her to someone now. Any good candidates around here? I don't see anyone. I think it will have to wait. Yeah, it will have to wait for now. I need to get rid of these looters. Wow, people are dying left and right. Who's that? My vassal again. I'll just ask him to end the plot. I'm already fighting one rebellion right now. I don't need to fight another one at the same time. Come on, get rid of these looters. Great, they moved. Well, at least they are gone, so there's that. I can help the siege. Oh, I could conquer this, maybe. Can I? No. Oh yeah, that's because I have my levies raised. <laughs> but I could probably take this county. It looks like this is someone independent with only one county. Easy target. But it's a pretty bad one, only 4.1 county tax. But hey, that's always some extra territory, right? Well, this rebellion is about to end. Okay, there we go. He's done. So now he's in jail. I could revoke his title without a penalty. Yeah, but I can't have any more counties. I would have to give one of my sons a landed title. Is this actually a good county? What's the tax here? 14. Well, I'm going to revoke his title anyway, because I don't plan releasing him from jail. Although technically I could do it. Then again, his opinion of me is pretty bad. I would get an opinion bonus if I release him from prison with all of my vassals. So perhaps that's actually a good idea. Hmm. I'm actually kind of tempted to do that right now. It's a bit of a gamble, but plus 10 opinion with all vassals when I have over 20 vassals is pretty damn good. Okay, I'm going to release him actually. How's his opinion now? One. Not great. But at least he's not in the negatives. Let's disband all of these. So, I still need to wait 3 more years before I can take this county. At least Hungary didn't declare war on them. Yet. Should I just take this one? It's not very rich. Alternatively, I could press claims here, but this one is even worse. Only 6.5. Actually, no, it's better, but not by a lot. I don't want to go to war with Lithuania right now. I don't see any other easy targets. Maybe these guys? Oh wow, this is pretty good. 25 county tax. I like that. So I could go to war with this guy. Without using subjugation. I can use the conquest, Castle's Belly. To get one of these counties. Which one is better? They are about the same. So it doesn't really matter which one I go after. But that looks like a very easy target. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just taking my time before I can declare war and take this county down here. Whatever it's called. That's by... Who's that, actually? I don't even know. Weird. I could use him to raise someone's opinion of me. Like this guy in Loki. He's a one or something like that. Yeah, chief of Loki. I could do that. Oh no, that won't actually work. But whatever, he can have him anyway. 
It's not anyone relevant to my family, really. At least not to any succession lines. Okay, nice. Plus 40. Opinion. That's the guy I'm worried about the most. So his opinion of me is at 72 now. Wow, that's a lot of factions. Holy crap. Four factions. Yeah, everyone wants to take the kingdom. Not very surprising. Plus 0 0.10 morale of armies or plus 10% levy size. I'll go for levy size. Nice, militia training ground is finished. Now I can build something new perhaps. I only have 200 gold though. Is that really enough for anything? I could get barracks or stables or I could improve my city maybe. That's probably a little bit better or not. What about my temple? Church walls? I could grab church walls. That's always plus 0 0.20 tax income and plus 2.5% levy size. <laughs> Not very impressive, but it's cheap. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to declare war on this guy over here. And take whatever this county is called. Let's grab my levies. It's actually a little bit annoying that no one rebelled against me. Other than this guy, but I forced him to rebel. Because I'd rather... I'd rather deal with rebellions when I'm prepared for that, and not at war, than have someone backstab me when I'm busy. I bet someone would rebel against me the moment I went to war with Lithuania. The game would just troll me. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. Oh, he called some allies, okay. Let's check diplomacy view then. Did he? Oh yeah, this guy's up here. Whatever. I'll just beat them if they come. Not a big problem. Just need to keep an eye on my northern border. Yeah, they are coming. I'll just use my second army to drive them away. Like so. Where do you think you're going? Rough? That's for me. Okay. And I win. In a moment. Follow them. Grey Eminence. Not too bad. 15 Diplomacy. Oh yeah, I think I needed a better Diplomat. No, never mind that then. Another plot, that's my son. Is that my direct heir? No, it's not. But he's plotting against someone. He's plotting to kill someone. That's my other son, I think. Is that my primary heir? I don't think so. How's his opinion of me? 100. I'll just ask him to end the plot. There's no point to throwing him in the dungeon when his opinion of me is 100. What? Oh, that's the Varangian Guard event. But he's not my direct heir, so I can send him there. Okay, that was quick. How's the siege going? 73%? Only 18% war score still. Okay, nice. Can I do anything with him? Nope, I can execute him. Because I can.
I don't see any other armies. I can join the siege. Here's an army. There we go. 46% war score. A little bit better. Oh, hey, someone conquered this. Hmm, these guys could be a threat eventually. Oh yeah, the game was paused. Derp. Is he surrendering? Yep, he is. Nice. So there we go, that's an extra county for me. I have to give it to someone. One of my sons, I suppose. Probably the best choice. Yeah, oh yeah, this was the one I already gave Vladimir to. So... And this is the one who joined the Varangian Guard. So I can't give him any landed titles right now. I don't want to give landed title to my primary heir. Like I already said. So I could give it to my other son. These two counties are fairly close to each other. So yeah, let's do it. There we go, he's done. This is my granddaughter. And the other one. My half-brother. Well, I think someone died. I don't get any opinion from this one. Oh no, I do actually. So I could send him to the High Chief guy. His opinion of me is 98 now. There's no way he's going to rebel against me with 98 opinion. At least, I hope not. I would be surprised if he did. Okay, so this is currently year 918. Oh, great. Hungary conquered this county. So now, if I want to take this county, I would have to go to war with Hungary. But I wouldn't be able to take this area, because my truce ends in the year 919. I don't want Slothful. So this is a bit unfortunate, because if I want to take three Slavic holy sites, I'll have to go to war with Hungary. There's no other choice. I do still have to take this county right here. But all of the other Slavic holy sites are very annoying to take. I think one of them is here. This might be this exact one. I think it is. Yes, it is. So I could actually declare war on her. Oh no, I have armies raised. And they have to move back to my territory. They did. Let's check this out real quick. Oh, she's not independent, right. I would have to use Subjugation Castle's Belly. Yeah, Subjugation of Pomerania, and I can only do that once per 10 years. Hmm. Well, I'll have to think about that, I suppose. I could always go to war with Lithuania first, and then wait 10 years or something like that, I don't know. I'm not really prepared or ready to go to war with Hungary, they are a little bit too strong for that. They are way too strong for that. But hey, I could use Subjugation of Hungary. <laughs> He's a heretic, actually, I mean a pagan. He has to be a pagan, because otherwise I wouldn't be able to use this. Yeah, he's a pagan. Well, anyway, I'm going to decide later, but for now, this part is done. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.